This is an office chair. You can make it go down by lifting its lever, but to make it go up, you have to stand up first. Now wouldn't it be convenient to have the ability to lift the chair without standing up? Well, today I'm gonna do just that. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. All main parts will be linked in the description, and let's get started. To electrically control the office chair, I'm going to attempt to use a 2,200 pound electric car jack. Now this car jack has a broken switch, along with this dry rotted air compressor hose, which does not hold pressure, but let's see if we can still salvage the jack. As we have a closer look, we can see the tiny compressor, along with a hydraulic jack assembly, which comes with a cylinder, an oil reservoir, and a hydraulic pump. We're going to have to remove the entire hydraulic jack assembly, so we can give it a test with my adjustable power supply. After setting the voltage to 12 volts, and setting the current to its maximum setting of 10 amps, I'll hook up the wires, so we can see if it works. And as we can see, it works quite well. A little on the slow side though, taking about a minute to reach its full height. I do have a solution in mind, but I'll talk about that later. What I like most about this jack is that it uses a dual stage hydraulic cylinder, which means it can reach almost double its height from before it is extended. Now to make the cylinder go down, all you have to do is reverse the polarity by switching negative to positive and positive to negative. At this point, I'll remove the bottom part of the chair, so we can have better access to the gas cylinder. I'll mark the piston rod before cutting it with an angle grinder. And don't worry about the sparks potentially causing an explosion, since office chairs either use compressed air or pure nitrogen gas which are neither toxic nor flammable. Now, I'll push out the remains of the cylinder using my 20 ton hydraulic press so we can make space for the hydraulic jack. Once again, the 20 ton press made easy work with pushing out the cylinder. While trying to push through the hydraulic jack, it seems like a bit of a tight fit. But since I don't have such a large drill bit, I'm gonna try using a rotary brush, which might work because this part is actually made out of plastic. Amazing! Just look how the pump is touching the bottom of the frame, while the cylinder is pretty much leveled right to the top. At this point, I'm gonna weld on the saddle, so we can give this a first test. Well, what can I say? It works just as expected. But the one thing that didn't go as expected is as I was going up and down, the hydraulic cylinder was slowly sliding out of place. So my solution is to make some brackets which will hopefully hold it in place. To add more structural support, I'll bolt down all the brackets. I'm also gonna give this part a coat of paint to make it more aesthetically pleasing and to protect it from rust. Now that the paint is dry, I'll reinstall this part onto the seat before giving it a test. It works! It feels quite natural, and most importantly, the hydraulic cylinder didn't slide out of place. But I will have to weld the cylinder to the adjustment screw and the adjustment screw to the saddle, because there's too much play without doing so.
much better. Now since I don't want to control the office chair by connecting and disconnecting wires, I'm gonna have to put together some kind of motor control system. For that, I'm gonna use a 43 amp age bridge. The reason for doing so is because of its simplicity. I mean, after hooking it up to the motor, all you have to do to make it go up is simply connect this wire to 5 volts, and to make it go down, you simply have to connect this other wire to 5 volts. To power the motor, I'm gonna use a large 12 volt 18 amp computer power supply. The high output current of 18 amps is very important because this hydraulic jack can pull a maximum current of 13 amps, so it's better to be safe than sorry. As I'm testing out this power supply, there seems to be a bit of a problem. You see, earlier when I tested this hydraulic jack, I used an adjustable power supply that has current regulation, which means while connecting a motor that needs a lot of current when starting up, it will temporarily lower its voltage to maintain its maximum set current, but as soon as using a fixed voltage power supply, the motor will obviously pull beyond 18 amps in the first few milliseconds, which is just enough to trigger the overcurrent protection feature, which can only be reset by unplugging it. An obvious fix though, would be to run the motor in series with a 1 ohm high power resistor. Now while this arrangement works, it actually wastes a lot of energy into heat. My solution is to build a circuit that will bypass the power resistor after half a second, which will allow the motor to receive full power and will also prevent the resistor from overheating, aka a soft start circuit. So after putting together the circuit and wiring it up, we can see that the power supply is no longer shutting, which means it's doing its job. At this point, it's time to 3D print an enclosure to house all the components. And now that it's done, I'll go ahead and remove all the supports, install all the components, wire everything up, and finally give it a test with a similar motor. And as we can see, it works quite well, so it's time to install it onto the office chair. I'm gonna install it on the side of the office chair right next to where the up and down lever is. Now the power supply will be mounted on the back of the office chair because there's lots of extra room back there. And once again, I'm gonna modify some L brackets so it should secure the power supply tightly against the chair. As soon as that's done, I gotta say it feels quite solid, which means it's time to route the power supply wire to the control panel and the motor output wire to the motor from the hydraulic pump. And now that everything is complete, let's test it out. By flipping on the power switch and pressing the first button, the office chair will start going up as long as I keep pressing it. Once I'm up here, I gotta say, it goes way higher than before, which used to be a maximum lift of 3 inches, and now it has a maximum lift of 8 inches, which is almost 3 times the original height. And also, if I don't fully pressurize the cylinder, I can still spin around like before. Now while it still takes about a minute to either go up or down, my solution is that since this hydraulic pump has a speed reducing gearbox, which allows this hydraulic jack to lift up to 2200 pounds, we can just bypass the gearbox that should give us quite a bit more speed which I'll hopefully be able to do in the next video. If you like this video then make sure to subscribe and consider supporting me through Patreon so I can keep creating interesting content and I will see you guys in the next video.